Reports of alleged lobbying to secure the hosting rights to Korea for the Winter Olympic Games in Pyeongchang have been placed on the doorsteps of electronics giant Samsung. Hey, Sally. How are you doing? How are you, sir? You fine? And it's alleged that this man, Papa Masata Diak, was at the center of it. Well, first of all, I would like to reject those allegations of my involvement with Samsung to do any lobbying activity for Pyeongchang uh, 2018, especially the Winter Games. Uh, I have nothing to do with that. My relationship with Samsung started back in 2009, uh, in March 2009, when we first approached Samsung to be a sponsor of the Idea of Life for the World Athletic Series. The 2018 Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang in February was acclaimed to be one of the best in recent history. And while Samsung has denied wrongdoing, this isn't first such accusations levied against Papa Masata Jack, the son of the former IWF president, Lamin Jack. Those countries accusing of having used my services or to win Olympic bid, they win extensively. Rio won by 66 votes against 32. Tokyo win by 67 votes against 34, against uh, 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 Istanbul. And then <laughs> they're talking about the Winter Olympic Games in Korea, where on the first round, <laughs> Pyeongchang won. There was not even a contest. France had <laughs> seven votes. Munich had 25 votes. So I just should show you that uh, those allegations are totally unsubstantiated, and I'm not going to react to it by also doing the same like what the French uh, judicial uh, system is doing by leaking information via internet or by creating some uh, uh, through the social networks, some informations, and I'm, I'm not going to enter into that. Both Lamin Jiak and his son Papa Masata are under investigations over corruption allegations. But Masata Jiak now says their patience is waning thin. Don't expect us to just be quiet and let it go like that. They are prosecuting their case, they should go into it. If they are sure of their evidence, let them go into it because uh, we can react in due course, definitely. The criminal investigations have been going on for over two and a half years and have also involved other top officials at the World Athletics Governing Body, the IWF, and the Olympics Body, the IOC. Sadiq Shaban, CGTN, in Dakar, Senegal.